Our next pattern is the release break and close up. This is very important because we'll be using it to execute other turns and moves later on. It's a great transitional step allowing you to get in and out of closed position. So let's take a look at it. We have first a basic step. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Now to do the release break, I'm going to incline again to my left, but I'm going to do more turn to my left. Slow, sending her out, then I simply replace my weight and that causes us to release on the right side. Now, I also have a lot of compression here with my left hand and her right hand so I can lead her to do the rock step. Now, the neat part, to bring her back, I simply take my left hand, draw it back towards my left pocket. That brings her back to close. Slow, slow, and quick, quick. Let's take a look at that again. We have a basic step first, slow, slow, quick, quick. I lean and turn more to my left, slow, then I release, slow, then using the compression in my left arm, quick, quick, I lead the rock step, then I take my left hand, bring it back towards my left pocket, slow, that brings her back to me, slow, quick, quick, and we regain our normal or closed dance position. Now we're going to show you some helpful hints on how to execute this pattern more smoothly. So for ladies, we want to make sure that we understand how much turn we're making and how to come back smoothly into closed position. What we're going to start out with is doing our basic step for slow, slow, quick, quick. Now, the leader is going to cause us to rotate slightly to our left, about an eighth of a turn, slow. Then as we step side, the leader is going to release our left hand, bring it out to your side in front of you, keeping the elbow bent. And then on we do the rock step, we're going to go straight back instead of back at an angle. Rock step. Now as the leader brings us back forward, he's going to incline.